Okay, welcome back for Physics 210. Uh, this one is for Chapter 2. Okay, Chapter 2 is about Static Equilibrium. Static Equilibrium. Okay, what happens when object is in Static Equilibrium? So, uh, that is our chapter for this chapter number 2. So now, uh, what is the meaning of static equilibrium? So, is there any requirement or condition that they must fulfill? Okay, so we start with that. An object, okay, an object is said to be in static equilibrium if it's Okay, obey of uh, is if if it is in these two conditions. Okay, in these two conditions, number one, the total force acting on it must be zero. Yeah, the total force acting on it must be zero. That's number one. Number two, the total torque applied to it must also equal to zero that's it these are the two conditions and we finish this chapter two already you see so short but of course we are looking at how are we going to apply this okay how are we going to apply this now uh, these are two conditions now can we look at example of things that is in static equilibrium okay example number one okay we look at number one now, in static equilibrium, well, number one, this one is very easy. Uh, uh, a block on a table. Okay, that's it. This one is in static equilibrium because it's not rotating, it is not moving. So, if we look at things like this, we know that, well, we have gravity. That is a weight equal to mg. And then, you have uh, something else which is the normal reaction. This normal reaction has the same magnitude as mg as long as no other forces involved. Alright? Now, this condition is not moving up or down and not moving sideways, left to the right, or move inward and outward. Now, that one fulfill these three forces. Uh, we can actually split this one, these forces here. Is equal to zero. You can split into two. Number one, total horizontal force equal to zero. Total vertical force is equal to zero. And total uh, third axis force is equal to zero. Your x and y is in this direction. Okay. Uh, sorry, x here. This is your y. And your z is pointing at you. Can you see that? It's pointing at you. Alright. So that is our condition. Uh, in this case, okay, the condition in this case. Now, we look at other scenario. Okay, I call this one A. Now, for the B. For the B, it can be something that looks like this. Okay. A wall and a floor. And then there is a ladder. Okay, you put a ladder lean against the wall. Okay, so this ladder is... Uh, in static equilibrium okay but this one have more forces than we can imagine we assume both forces are uh, both the wall and the floor have friction so now we have weight okay w is equal to mg and then from the wall we have reaction okay this one from the wall so i call this one uh x because it's point horizontally and here we have and Y, another reaction from the floor, because it is vertical, so I put a Y here. Other than that, these two forces is is not actually making sure that the ladder is stationary. You need two more forces. In this case, at least one of them must be there. So this one is the friction. This one is a friction on the floor. So I let's say that this one is F Y. Okay, F Y. And then another friction from the wall. This one is Fx because it's related to the x here. Alright. So you see, this is another condition. Okay, this is another condition for uh static equilibrium. Okay, static equilibrium. Alright. Now another condition is look at C, condition number C. Let's assume you have a piece of uh wood, very long. Or plank okay and you support the plank at two location 
then at two location one is point a then one is point a another one is let's say point b somewhere here okay point b all right now let's assume you put something right at the end here they okay, right at the end here but the object the plank is still horizontal so now let's say the plank is uniform now if it is in a uh, static equilibrium we know that all the forces add up must be zero so this one is a weight is equal to mg here we also have another weight so i call this one uh, w prime is equal to m prime g and then of course two contact point here we have two reaction from here okay two reaction so since their location are different so you call this one ra and this one is rb uh, this is another condition okay this is another condition for static equilibrium right now another condition will be also static equilibrium is something that looks like this let's say a ceiling a wall okay a ceiling and a wall and then you have some object hang okay you have an object hang from a wall and a ceiling okay and a ceiling using uh two string okay using two string now one is to pull okay another one is to hang but this hanging process it happened at a certain angle it's not vertical so what we know here is that object as long as the string can handle the stress then there's nothing will happen okay nothing will happen so we know that there are forces involved here number one is a weight mg and then something hang so it have to pull it up and then if the object being pulled to the right hand side uh, another force must be pulled to the right hand side so since there are two t we call this one t1 and this is t2 uh, this is another condition for static equilibrium okay static equilibrium all right now another one will be let's say e okay you have a uh, object okay hang by two string at different angle okay at different angle so that one is also static equilibrium okay it's quite the same like this except their starting point are the same from the same height so we know that number one the weight is here and then there are two tension okay you might call this one uh, T1 and T2 as well. T1, T2. So this is another example of static equilibrium. Alright. Okay. So we go to some other type of static equilibrium. So I call this one patch number uh, 1. Okay. This is patch number 1. Now another example of a static equilibrium uh, condition will be this one. Okay, will be this one so that one's supposed to be number e already okay, this is number e now let's assume round object now okay a round object okay let's say a sphere or whatever you support the object okay you support the object using uh two uh let's say from a uh, edge from the edge of two corner okay something like this this one can be like for example uh the drain in your house okay the drain in your house and then there's something big on top of it okay a drum or what so now you see what happened here is it is in static equilibrium right so that is the easiest way to stop rolling uh, process okay you stop the rolling process now we know that this object here it has a center of mass uh down so that one is a wet W equal to mg. Now at any sharp point, you remember at any sharp point, the reaction always point to the center of the round object. This one. And then another one is here. Okay. You point to the center. Okay. Later I give another example which are not symmetrical. So this one is the reaction number one this is the reaction number two it can be the same it can be not the same all right so these are example where they are symmetrical on both sides now let's assume the same circle again okay the same sphere is placed at different height okay it's placed at a different height for our support point 
Okay, the support point is different in height. One is here, another one is here. See or not? Okay. So now, uh, I don't know what type of long kang is this, but uh, but it's good enough to show you the example. Okay. Let's assume this is a drain again. Now, this is a center. Okay. That is a center or of the object. And we know that the weight is the same because we refer to the same sphere. But that two reaction will be different now. Okay. This one here and this one here. See or not? Because they are not symmetrical, right? the contact points are not the same. So this one is now R1. This is R2. Alright. So these are examples that involve spherical object. Okay. In static equilibrium. Okay. In static equilibrium. Alright. So... So far, for all the objects we mentioned here, starting from number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and number 6 here, and uh, 6 and 7, they are actually all rigid object. Okay, rigid object. What's the meaning of rigid object? Rigid object are object that does not change shape. Okay, object that does not change shape when force is applied to it. Okay, uh, most object are quite rigid uh, relatively to each other okay for example your finger okay, your finger here you can actually bend it up right okay, you can bend it up if you see from sideways you can bend it up but uh, you don't feel that much pain right but if i pull it up using some sort of mechanism here until it break here that one is no more rigid object already okay uh, because it started to change shape okay but as long as the shape changes is not that much we can consider that one is a rigid object okay uh, that one is our chapter number two so that one i give you tutorial again but this is not under tutorial two yeah because tutorial two is uh still under chapter number one okay so this one is our page number four so watch out for the video for our static equilibrium and also the tutorial. Bye.